Welcome to 99th Monkey Liberty News for Monday, June 30th, 2014. The last day of June. I want to begin with a post that I saw from Cynthia McKinney on Facebook. And uh, I'm, just, I'm going to read this. Uh, and she's quoting. Some of the moments are too painful to share because they involved people who were close to Dr. King who were involved in his assassination. You began to understand the Judas factor in King's assassination. That involved people close to King who were helping to assassinate him. That was a very painful thing to see. And the quote is from Jim Douglas talking about the 1999 trial in Memphis that no media covered. Read the transcript and know who your authentic leaders are and who those sent to you by the cabal are. Download the complete transcript of that trial and hear Douglas talk about the assassinations of the 1960s that stole our authentic leaders for the download. And she has the links. And I opened them uh, just kind of for emphasis and I, I did, this is the uh, document that she mentions, the complete transcript of the Martin Luther King Jr. trial. Uh, and uh, I think these, these are very important. So much happens all the time. And of course, uh, the news cycle is crafted to prevent us from thoroughly processing things. And... Uh, as she said, the, the news media, the mainstream media, never covered this 1999 trial. And uh, Amer the American people have never had the opportunity to process this. And uh, what I want to emphasize today is the lies that we are told and, uh, it, the, you know, the issue is not even so much that were told lies, which is kind of a given, but the fact that, that we believe lies and uh, being told lies is something outside of our control. It's, it's just something that happens. But believing lies uh, is completely within our <laughs> jurisdiction, so to speak. Uh, that, that's our exercise of our free will. And uh, I do, I have another example here of a lie uh, from mainstream media. This is a Facebook meme that uh, was somebody posted. ISIS isn't what you might think it is. The mainstream media wants you to believe that the recent invasion of Iraq by ISIS was a spontaneous action and that ISIS is acting independently to claim Iraq as its own. What they fail to mention is that the U.S. and other key players, such as Turkey and Saudi Arabia, have been arming, funding, and training members of ISIS since 2007. As I said, another example of a lie from mainstream media. Everybody is supposed to be all upset, uh, Iraq is crumbling, and America has to blaze in and save the day with a large army. Uh, we can we please exercise our free will, not believe these lies. And the lies are not only uh, overt; they're not only uh, something that that is given to us directly in the mainstream media, like what we've heard about ISIS or even the cover-up, what we didn't hear about the Martin Luther King Jr. trials. It also has to do with an issue like this, uh, where Facebook tinkered with users' feeds for a massive psychology experiment. And I, I just want to mention all this, this flashing. I've been noticing that uh, YouTube videos are flashing. When I play them frequently, I will get um, flashes. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I have a feeling it has something to do with 
trying to um, break our concentration as we watch. Um, so we'll pass over those, the, the little uh, flashing memes, flashing ads, to get into the issue here. This is from avclub.com. Scientists at Facebook have published a paper showing that they manipulated the content seen by more than 600,000 users in an attempt to determine whether this would affect their emotional state. The paper, Experimental Evidence of Massive Scale Emotional Contagion Through Social Networks, was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. It shows how Facebook data scientists tweaked the algorithm that determines which posts appear on users' new feeds, news feeds. Specifically, researchers skewed the number of positive or negative terms seen by randomly selected users. This is 600,000 people. You could well have been one of them. Facebook then analyzed the future postings of those users over the course of a week to see if people responded with increased positivity or negativity of their own thus answering the question of whether emotional states can be transmitted across a social network. Result, they can. Which is great news for Facebook data scientists hoping to prove a point about modern psychology. It's less great for the people having their emotions secretly manipulated. Uh, so how can you resist things like this? How can we exercise our free will? to resist this this is actually a form of mind control and having proven through this experiment that this can be done would you guess that that they're still doing it so here's you know when i'm on facebook uh sometimes it's obvious to me that what comes up in my news feed is what they what someone intends to come up uh, and I won't get into detail there, but you, many of you have probably recognized something similar. So when I'm on Facebook, I don't really spend very much time uh, on my news feed. I know what I'm interested in. I know the people who, whose work I want to look at, whose posts I want to see. So uh, when I'm on Facebook, I, first of all, spend as little time as possible. Um, if I'm posting something, I post it and, and get out. And I suspect that very few people see my posts anyway. Um, but, but then I also have uh, different people's pages that I will visit. Um, the one that I check if I have the least time, to be honest, is Cynthia McKinney. Because I I find that what she posts on Facebook is the most interesting, the most relevant, and uh, typically things that I won't see anywhere else. And and she, she doesn't, as far as I'm aware, have her own website. People who have websites, I will visit their website as opposed to their Facebook page, or I might check in at network blogs, uh, which which is in, where I have all the. Uh, I have a list of all the the blogs that I regularly look at. So this is Facebook, uh, and this is how this is in one sense this this kind of experiment is a lie, um, because like the mainstream media, they are not giving you the full picture; they're only giving you what they want you to see and and you know with the mainstream media sometimes that is a complete outright falsehood lie so I was uh, you know I, I wanted to cast this in biblical terms because as I've been processing and I, I found the Cynthia McKinney information uh, I think on, on Friday or Saturday so I've been processing it for a couple of days and thinking about uh, how the American people have been defrauded, stolen from, lied to. And uh, it, this is really, this is a, a spiritual issue in many respects. And 
from Second Thessalonians, and this is verses 10 through 12, uh, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. See, it's, it's not, the issue is not being told a lie. The issue is, is believing a lie. We can't control being told a lie, but we can control believing a lie. Reading on here, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. This is where the, this is on us. This is, this is our burden. Uh, do we enjoy being led astray? Do we enjoy being painted a sunny, rosy picture that everything is fine and the stock market is in good shape and uh, things are going to go on indefinitely as they are in a good way? Um, this is our choice. If we, if we choose to believe this lie, uh, you know, the, the, the people who believe lies are damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. And the pleasure is in unrighteousness is, to some extent, permitting our country, which the U.S., which is government of the people, by the people, and for the people, to continue on uh, murdering people in other countries to get their oil, murdering people in other countries to get their gold, and uh, we believe the lie that we had to do this in order to protect democracy around the world when in our very own country we are uh, having the, the Bill of Rights taken away from us. And, uh, you know, the, the, what, what really is the essence of our liberty and any, you know, it's not, not even democracy that's, that's great. It's the fact that we have... A, uh, a constitutional republic, particularly that can includes the Bill of Rights. So it's it's all a lie, and I know that most people listening are aware of that. But I really just felt I wanted to emphasize that today, and uh, I'm, I'm keeping it short today. Um, we're back at home, but I am I feel like I'm still um, kind of catching up with things and I don't feel like I have a real good grasp of all the more current news. But this is something that is always important and is always out there. And as I said, some, because of the news cycle, sometimes something that happened in 1999 um, in, in this instance, with what Cynthia McKinney is referring to, sometimes that uh, has at least as much significance, if not more, um, than what, what we might be seeing in the current news cycle because it was never resolved. Some of these issues have never been resolved. And we just, the, the, uh, the social engineers intentionally keep piling, 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 piling more on to keep us confused and to keep us uh, distracted so that it's difficult to focus on what really is significant. You know, the phrase, uh, focus on the urgent rather, the, uh, rather than the important. Well, no, we exercise our free will and focus on the important. And uh, so I'm, this is good news that I'm closing with today just uh, because it is the good news, the gospel. Uh, of course, some of this is from the Old Testament. But just some, some verses. I, I just did a search on Bible Gateway um, for verses that contain the word lie and the word truth. Um, and I'll just highlight a couple. None calleth for justice, nor any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. And th just... The contrast between truth and lies is so significant in a spiritual sense. If your life is built on lies, uh, you know, you nothing will come to fruition for you. 
They bend their tongues like their bow for lies, but they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they know not me, saith the Lord. Some of these are descriptions pretty apt of the cabal, aren't they? But, you know, the sad, the sad truth is that these also apply to people who believe the lies of the cabal because um, people who believe lies are going to reproduce lies. They're going to uh, be talking to their friends at work about what, what, uh, how the U.S. government is, needs to do something about ISIS. Um, they're going to be talking about how, what a great presidential candidate Hillary is and how it's so appropriate to have a woman as president following the first black president. I think, here's, a, here's an idea. Hey, we could have had the first black and woman president if we could have, would have had Cynthia McKinney. Let's, you know, you want a woman president? Let's get Cynthia McKinney for president. How's that? Uh, here's another, just another example. And they will deceive everyone his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity. Again, this is the cabal, but in many respects, this is a lot of people in our culture. Uh, here's this, one of the scary ones from John. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So it's a mystery to you. Where do these lies come from? Uh, why do the cabal do what they do? Who are these people? Okay, this is the answer right here. Uh, all this flows from the devil. And I won't today get into why the devil does what he does. There are reasons. There's always a reason. Uh, nothing is really random. There, I, I really don't believe in coincidence. I've talked about that before. Um, but the, the devil has an agenda. He has a plan. And he has people who are helping him to, uh, whether, whether knowingly or unknowingly, people who believe lies are facilitating his plan, are furthering his agenda. Um, and I, I won't read all of these, but I do want to um, I do want to end with uh, some of these verses from First John, because this is good news, and um, they are they are written in a very encouraging manner. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it and that no lie is of the truth. And another, The anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. And may we all abide in him. Thank you for tuning in for today's 99th Monkey Liberty News. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will love one another, take care, and be in the truth, enforce the Bill of Rights.